Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Ad Astra. And today we're starting off with launching Endymion 2. And this time it's launching on a Poseidon 2. Uh, this Poseidon 2 is a great increase from our Poseidon 1 launch vehicle. Our Poseidon 1 launch vehicle did not get this thing very far, but don't worry, this one is. This one is much 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 better equipped than the previous launch vehicle and yeah it is on its way to the mun now this vehicle much like the old one is very much apollo styled <laughs> the upper stage even looks like the uh the upper stage of the apollo except for one very distinct difference it is only two crew now the fact that there's only two crew makes this a little bit interesting uh only one goes down to the surface instead of the two like the apollo missions this has just a one person lander can and it will land on the surface and while the other one just sits up there in orbit but not like that, uh, not like the Apollo missions, uh, they will actually only be on the ground for about one orbit. Uh, this just makes things easier for me, and it also, there's really no reason why to extend the time much longer than that. And as we see right here, we had Renee Long, I think the name was, uh, go down to the uh, other capsule and hop inside. I should probably write down the names of these Kerbals, but it's fine. Uh, here we are uh, attempting to dock. I'm messing it up royally at this time. Uh, had to back up just a little bit so we can come back in for another chance. And there they are, they are perfectly docked. Now we can use this stage to guide ourselves in for a perfect set of uh, procedures coming up and here we are uh, basically correcting ourselves to a better position around the Mun uh, for our orbit and here is going to be this is my design for the uh, circularization burn around the Mun so here we are just about to execute said burn and do all of the science that is quite necessary I do have to say, KSP-1 with uh, with mods does look quite amazing. Alright, here we are just resetting all of the, uh, the modules outside. I can't reset the mystery group, but I can reset pretty much everything else. And I just had to get all of the uh, necessary science. And now here we are slightly lowering the... Uh, periapsis just so we can get a little bit closer to the moon the mun and just kind of look at it a little bit better here we are uh, I've successfully now deorbited the craft and here we are coming in very very quickly uh, but I did have to slow it down just a little bit so we could get a better landing position and here we are coming in very closely to the surface uh, well not very closely but yeah here we are just slowly descending and like that we have our first touchdown and look at that view that's just a good view there we go there's a flag for endymion 2 uh this is the first landing site one small step for a kerbal uh, one small step for a kerbal one giant kerbal for kerbal kind doesn't make any sense, but doesn't have to. Just a quick run of all of the experience, uh, experiments again. And here we are waiting for the whole orbit so that we can uh, blast off from the surface and reach our capsule. So here we are. And here we are, we're launching. I have it so that we we took the entire uh, first stage with us 
and then I separated to the second stage because I was worried that we wouldn't have enough uh, enough fuel, but don't worry, we did. We had more than enough fuel, and here we are finally meeting up with the uh, other one. We, here we are, we're gonna burn so that we can get closer. And then as we approach it, we are going to burn so that our relative velocity is zero. And this only took about 10 minutes in time. Imagine if you were to launch from like the the ground somewhere and then immediately you were up in a space station in 10 minutes. That'd be crazy. Takes like, uh, takes like a day and a half to two days, even three days sometimes for Dragon to get to the ISS. It takes like five or six hours for for um, for uh, Soyuz, but like even then, it's just crazy. Like the idea of just launching from the surface and being somewhere in ten minutes is is pretty cool, uh, but it's really only feasible on a on a low low gravity low uh, low atmosphere environment like the Mun. Here we are. Um, I'm attempting to dock it. Um, it is being a little bit of an issue, but there we are. We are docked. Now uh, we gotta flip it in the correct orientation. We gotta take all of the science out of the original capsule, uh, out of the capsule, so that we can take ourselves back to, uh, you know, Kerbin. Here I am. Uh, basically uh taking out all of the uh, all of the much needed science that we need for our program uh turning it into the other side running even more science just so we got every little bit that we need and then we will have to undock with this craft in orbit but before we did that i had it so that it would deorbit itself and it would hit the surface just so that our save file does not get overrun with just terrible, terrible pieces of simulated garbage that is just floating out in our solar system, which can be quite annoying. Uh, as I spent an entire episode in my previous series just doing that. But here we are, we're just kind of floating, uh, just kind of going along. I had to run and actually pick up uh, laundry from the laundry machine when this was happening but uh yeah but here we are we are currently returning from space and i decided to slow our descent into the atmosphere using the engines and here we are about to ditch the engines as we re-enter the atmosphere here we go and they have been ditched, and here we come. Flying through the atmosphere at a very, very hefty clip. Uh, I, again, forgot to put on the heat shield, but it is not much of an issue as we get through the atmosphere with no problem because I was able to slow it down enough to not really have a problem. But here we are, we are coming down on the side of a mountain that is not particularly good, but we were able to save it. Here's Pioneer, the Pioneer have. Uh, this is also, this is being launched on a Sidon 1 and it is the new have for the uh, Pioneer, uh, basically space station that we have up in orbit. This is uh, given to us through a contract that I have picked up and yeah it basically we have to send a hab that can support two kerbals up to the uh pioneer space station and that pioneer space station uh basically it 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 needed more docking ports uh because it only had one so i decided to send this up this will provide it with uh two more of the docking ports that we've been using a lot of recently and one normal size docking port because those other size docking ports those are kind of hard to dock together I've had a lot of trouble with them but now we'll have some normal docking ports on there and we'll have a grand old time grand old perfect time but yeah 
I extended out the uh, the orbit just so that it was easier. It was uh, I was having a lot of trouble getting the orbits correctly um, aligned from that close together. So I, you know, it's actually easier to do it from far apart because one body moves a lot quicker than the other, and so you can uh, change your change your instances of meeting up together. It's it just makes it easier. Yeah, here we are. Um, we're slowly going to be going down towards that, uh, as you see right here. And we will be meeting up for a nice rendezvous in just a couple of minutes time. Okay, so I'm about to uh, hit that execute button and it's going to fly us around so that we can slow down our velocity once we meet up with the two, well, with the other craft. This will allow us to uh, ditch that other stage right there so we can mostly just move around with that small, uh, more efficient engine. And even though that more efficient engine has worse thrust and not as much fuel, it, uh, it helps us move around uh, more nimbly than we would with this gigantic uh, behemoth that currently sits underneath us. Now we are currently 2.4 kilometers away and we are rapidly approaching. Not really. Um, we're actually currently getting a little bit further away, but I uh, decided to burn towards it so that we can get a lot closer. Now here we are coming in. Uh, we will soon be able to uh, match our velocity and come in in a much better manner. Sorry if I sound uh, out of breath. I actually currently have uh, I currently have bronchitis. It's uh, really wearing away at me. It's uh, it's quite a pain. Uh, now I understand the 2012 me <coughs> meme. Kind of, I ain't nobody got time for that. It's really really speaking to me right now. So uh, yeah, here we are coming in for our docking procedure, and there we go. It is docked together, and I just jettisoned that little uh, probe that now can just go and burn itself up with no problem whatsoever, and yeah, that'll be it for today. Sorry for a short uh, episode, but uh, I have bronchitis, and ain't nobody got time for that.